Hello and welcome. Today we have an iPhone 12 Pro Max for a loudspeaker replacement or buzzer. We are going to start by removing the two pantalobe screws at the bottom. And next, I am going to get isopropyl alcohol and place it at the edge of the screen. This will help soften the glue, the double-sided tape that is holding the screen to the phone's frame. So, add isopropyl alcohol Don't add too much and go around the phone and evenly try to distribute isopropyl alcohol. The phone has a tempered glass applied and I am going to try to open the phone without removing the tempered glass, even if it is broken. Now we are going to wait for about 5 minutes so the isopropyl alcohol can work and after 5 minutes we are going to use the hair dryer to heat up the screen. Let's come back. So after waiting I am going to get the phone hot using a hair dryer. The temperature used is around 80 degrees Celsius and the phone is placed at a safe distance from the hair dryer and the flow of air is evenly distributed on the phone's surface. So after about 2 minutes of heat using our hair dryer at 80 degrees Celsius, we are going to set the phone in this special opening tool, align the suction cup to the screen, okay so now I am unscrewing this screw so the suction cup can touch the phone and let's engage the suction cup. And now let's screw this knob and this will help lift the screen upwards slowly. Using isopropyl alcohol on the edge will help open the screen. The lifting tension is, um, is soft, so I didn't turn this screw on a lot. I am giving time and patience so the screen can come out nice and slow without breaking. We don't want to damage the screen. So after we can see it's beginning to open up, we can continue to raise the lifting tension 
by applying a little bit of screw in here by applying more force so isopropyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol drops small drops at the edge patience and a little bit of force You can also do this using a suction cup, but the risk of damaging the screen is higher. If you use opening tools, metal opening tools like this, you could open up the phone successfully, but the risk of damage is higher. So as you can see, the screen is gently being detached from the frame. And the suction cup gave up. So let's see. The screen is halfway there. Let's release the phone from this tool and continue. So I am going to keep the screen opened up like this, and it still has a lot of force. Let's add isopropyl alcohol in here and using this o opening tool, this guitar pick, I am going to try to pry open the screen, but very slowly. And don't forget about that isopropyl alcohol. It will help to detach the screen. So I'm dipping my plastic tool in isopropyl alcohol and I'm doing this prying motion here. Okay, so slowly you can also do this, but don't go until the end because here you have metal brackets that are keeping the screen in and if you force your opening tool more than this uh, position here you will crack your screen so now keeping the phone as like this at this angle i am going to try to get isopropyl alcohol on the top part and i am wiggling the screen i don't know can you see so left right look like this and this will cause the isopropyl alcohol to get inside on the upper part of the screen like this while holding it at an angle so i'm holding it at this angle right like this and as you can see it's beginning to open up on the sides also so let's wiggle this around and then Let's get this opening tool in here and try to pry. Okay, so this was released and also on this side here, carefully, but it's impossible to do this if the double-sided tape is still stuck perfectly to the screen. So as you can see, we successfully managed to open up the phone. Next, we are going to get the speaker out, 
but because it's very easy to replace the speaker I am not even going to disassemble the rest of the phone so let's get our suction cup attached to the screen for securing the screen on this angle here and let's get let's get the four screws that are holding the buzzer in place so one two three and four uh, we have to place the screws in the same position we got them from we don't want to mistakenly um, okay so let's get the suction cup connected again okay carefully let's see so we don't want to uh, mistakenly get the screws mixed up because that could cause damages although if we look closely we don't have any motherboard or other parts under these screw holes so maybe you won't damage anything but it's still a good idea to have some rules and guidelines so let's see open up lift the buzzer up and we have this plastic ribbon cable glued to the buzzer remove that uh, rib ribbon plastic okay get the buzzer aside and then get the new buzzer in place can you see okay get the new buzzer in place so you have these two pins over here that need to connect to this for the sound and you have the other pin here let's connect like this so okay and make sure that black ribbon cable is not under the buzzer so try to try to get it the way it was before so let's see let's try to do this way let's see yes this is better so slide it in and this way it gets glued to the buzzer next let's get those four screws in place like that and that's it now we are going to close up the phone and check for the speaker closing this phone we have to get this but uh, these brackets in the frame so this means get the upper part of the screen in place so you need to you need to get it in like this so after the upper part is in you can slowly press down on the sides like this and after everything is in place apply pressure
and let's get the two pantalobe screws in place. Let's power on the phone. So let's test the new speaker. It's loud and clear. So, I hope this video helped. If it did, please like, comment and subscribe. Have a good day!